everybody. Hi, my name is Kay with The Crafty Arab, and today I'm here with my friend Laura, who's going to help me paint with these beautiful Vlad paints as we celebrate Cupid, what was it called? Cupid Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Except this is March, <laughs> so we're celebrating spring. There we go. So that's why we're painting the flowers. We're putting on the final touches of our beautiful arrows that we actually started um, with the Jamaican blue and the white of our multicultural colors. And you can get the instructions for how we created this beautiful um, design of them blowing, uh, blowing into each other, melding and in, melting into each other, <laughs> melding into each other. Um, and then added our arrows all from the instructions on the video, mm -hmm. which are so easy to follow. Let me see your arrows. Beautiful! Look how gorgeous our arrows are. We could probably just stop here, right? <laughs> no, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna try putting on our flowers to celebrate spring. So we're gonna start with, start with a big one, oh, yeah. right? And the brightest of the pink colors, I think, to make the nice big, big flower. And how she had done them was she loaded up her flower and we got our paint brushes dipped in water already to get them for their ready for their first paint and then she did a line like that and what was the technical term swoosh, swoosh. she swooshed half a circle this way and then swoosh the other half of the circle that way to create her circle and then she went in and filled it in Create this nice big circle. I think I'm gonna swoosh a little bit bigger. I like how her one flower was nice and big. And then she had the two smaller pink ones, which we'll just do in just a second here. And swoosh. <laughs> yeah, the technical terms have to be done while you're painting. <laughs> it helps swoosh. with the color. Let's see yours. Oh, beautiful. Yours is much more rounded than mine. Sushi. See, and then I start making mine bigger, and then you don't know where to stop. But I will stop right here as soon as I get this. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful circle. Now we're going to set these down for just a minute here and pick up smaller flat brushes and get the next color or oh, actually which one did she oh did you already do that one let's do that one I can't remember which one she did on the on the side but I think they'll probably all fine and then she made two smaller ones right right I don't think it really matters where you put them okay I'm gonna put mine one of them right here swooshing yeah I'm gonna do the line and then the swooshing of the circle Fill in that beautiful circle. So pretty. Make it a little bit bigger or smaller. I guess you can't go too small. But Extend mine out just a bit more. I think I might do my other one too, starting on that. And do the line, and then half circle, and grab the other side, and the other half circle. Oh, that one's nice, much bigger. Beautiful. Alright, I'm not too worried about that little extra on the side there. We clean our brushes and then grab the smaller color to grab the smaller color, the excuse me, the lighter pink and go through with these lines that she made. Hmm. On the outer edge, she was saying. 
of that to give it that petal, petal look. Very pretty. They look like side C's. <laughs> Little C's on the side. So do you paint much at home? Do you get to paint? I usually do watercolor. Oh, nice. It's nice to pull out paints and have a little time to ourselves, especially as busy moms, mm -hmm. and do a little art on the side. I'm going to grab that middle color, I think, that I made the other flower out of and do the same to my bigger little flower there. Hmm. Are we leaving the centers open? Yes. Okay. Good catch. Yes, leave that. the mid center open so we can add a little extra color. Just kind of create these extra little circles inside, half circles. Kind of remind me a little of the flowers we drew last time when I did this painting project with my neighbor. We had very similar flowers. Very beautiful. Wow. You're really good at this. You should do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> and now I think I'm going to add some greenery. Okay. A little bit of lines and a little bit of... You know what? She used this guy right here. It was just a little bit thicker for her. Mm -hmm. Let's see. For her um, stems, I think. Mm -hmm. To give it a little bit of a definition of the lines. I'm just going to kind of put one here, I think. Is that the dark green? Yes. Okay. Yes. Start with the dark green. And just put one right there. Coming out. And, oh, you know, she had that tulip on there, too. Hmm. But... I kind of like the three flowers. Mm -hmm. Did you want to try to add the tulip? I think three Are is nice. Yeah. Odd numbers are nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at the point where I'm like, you know, I kind of like these three flowers <laughs> without adding the tulip. So I think we'll just keep it at that. And add another spray going this way. Coming out of the flower. Very nice. And then, do you remember how she added the leaves? Mm. They were just kind of little dashes like this, which she just kind of okay. created on the edge. And then whichever, wherever she put one, she made sure to put one on the other side. Okay. So, if you do down like this, then you just want to make sure you put one on the other side like that. Okay. Gives it the little look of leaves there, one on this side. I like to do them at the same time. I know she did them all at one side and then the back, but kind of gives me a little bit of a sense of going down, going down the leaf at the same time. I like how color coordinated we are with our green <laughs> outfits, which we did not even know that we had <laughs> color coordinated. So it's just adorable that we both showed up mm -hmm. at the house wearing the same color. And we're both very, very springy. Mm -hmm. Showing the same lovely green that we're painting right now. <laughs> So relaxing and so nice, especially when you're mm -hmm. so hectic with kids. You work at the high school with kids all the time. Mm -hmm. 
And I just opened a bookstore where kids come in all the time. And it's lovely. We love children, but <laughs> it's nice to have time for ourselves as moms. So this is definitely a little bit of a fun afternoon, just kind of painting. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Thank you. I think I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add more leaves. Okay. I think we're just gonna keep maybe one on this side. I'm feeling three. I'm feeling yeah. I'm feeling like this is empty right here. Maybe it's because we didn't add the tulip. That's fine. That I'm feeling like there needs to be another one here. Leaf got a little full. <laughs> That's all right. And then we can stick that in there. I want to get a smaller detail and get that a little wet to pick up our lighter green. And just go through and just add a tiny bit of details inside. Okay. And it's okay if some of the darker green is still a little wet because it just kind of helps with the blending, which we just kind of did finish doing for our... I have a question. Yeah. One of my brush hairs is not cooperating. Pull it out. Or we can cut it out. Did it come out? Nope, I will just cut right. it to the side. No, I got scissors. We have fancy scissors. We can cut it. Look how cool that is. Thank and it's you. gone. <laughs> That was so close to a brush <laughs> emergency as you're going to get here as we finish painting. I love that little detail. It just really adds mm -hmm. a bit of texture when you put a contrast color in there. That lighter green contrasting with the darker green. And I really loved the one that she had that had the um, red berries it looked like. Ooh. So I'm going to go in and grab a little bit of the red, that really beautiful dark, dark pink, and put it on the end, I think, like that. And this one on the bottom, a little close to the red flower. Now one of my favorite parts, this is so exciting for me, mm. because we are going back to... Um, arrows and adding that gorgeous gorgeous copper mm -hmm. to the heads and the feathers and um, let's see what was our brush here that we were using put that back in there grabbing this about a half inch and um, I just want the flowers to dry a little bit before I go in and do the centers. Okay. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on the arrows and just grabbing that gorgeous copper. Okay. And just going back over. Oh my gosh, look at that color. It just shines. I wish you could see this in the... In the... Um, Video? Camera. But it just picks up this gorgeous copper. We're going to add this on before we add the glitter. So, as she mentioned in the video, um, you don't have to be completely precise in covering up your edges because we are going to go over all of this with that glitter paint. Okay. So, using the edge of the paper there, I got a little bit of white. I'll go back over in just a second with more detail. But I'm just going over it here to add that shiny. Oh my gosh. I think I want this color like every day. <laughs> I'm gonna start putting it on my purse, start putting it on my clothing. <laughs> So pretty. It's 
And the great thing is our palettes are actually wood palettes. So they're absorbing this paint so beautifully and it's just soaking right up through all of the layers. But if you're using canvas, the great thing about this paint is that it's multi-surface. So it's great for canvas or wood, or you can put it on so many different materials. And have this beautiful shine to it. And pretty soon, at the end of this month, we're going to start, actually the end of next month, we're going to start our Ramadan 30-day craft series. So where we make a craft every single day for the month of Ramadan. It'll be the ninth annual yeah. time we've done this. And you guys can look forward to so many times I'm going to be using these colors and these supplies because they just are stunning. And I can just imagine putting them on lanterns and placemats or anything else you guys would be needing for Ramadan as you do your prep and decor. Ooh, got a little bit of glue on there. Back over it with details too. Like I'm going to show you guys a little bit of where I messed up and a little bit of the white, just how you can go over it and fix it. And you just grab a tiny, tiny little bit and just go back over. And no one will even know that you had even made a mistake. Look at that. It's totally gone. Just go back. I kind of like the little edging there of the flower too, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to leave that actually. I changed my mind. I thought I was going to fix it and then I, I didn't want to. Nice. So now we had the glitter, <laughs> the best part. And the amazing thing about this stuff is, um, let me get my brush just a little bit wet so I can grab the glitter a little better. Get some of this paint off that I picked up from the paper towel <laughs> accidentally. Okay. Um, but you can see it's so many, it's like little flakes, big flakes. So it gives it that amazing shine. So when you add it, it just gets everywhere and it really goes in and gives it that detail. I think mine might be a little wet. Maybe that's why it's not. Maybe you should do the center of the flowers. There we go. And then just kind of spread it around, getting all the little corners. Wow, look at that. It's so pretty. So I remember, Laura, when our kids were young mm -hmm. and we did play dates together. <laughs> and I remember I went to the woman's house one time mm -hmm. and she was talking about how she had a little craft corner for her kids. Oh. And I was so impressed. I'm like, oh, that's so great that you have a little craft corner for your kids. But then she said, but no glitter. And I thought, oh my goodness, how can you have a craft corner with no glitter? <laughs> I didn't think those existed. Because hmm. glitter is probably the best part of crafting, right? Because yeah. it gives everything that extra shine. I mean, look at that. Look at how much gorgeous, much more gorgeous that is when you add. I think I'm going to need a little more glitter. Glitter? Oh, okay. yeah, of course. We have so much glitter. <laughs> Aura, it is everywhere. I'm going to turn your palette around there so I can add more. Can you grab that brush and just throw it in the water for me? And then we don't have to worry about it. Look at that. Oof, so pretty. Thank you. And just add it all on there and get it up in the corners. And the great thing is there's so many little pieces that it just gives that whole area so much shine. Oh, I love it. 
Wouldn't this be fun on shoes? Mm -hmm. You can have shining shoes and everywhere you'd go you'd sparkle. Be like, um, what's that show with the, that movie? <laughs> Where, where the house lands on the witch and she has the shiny red shoes. Dorothy. Wizard of Wizard Oz. Wizard Oz. Thank you. You can have gold shoes instead of Dorothy's red shoes. Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather have gold shoes than red shoes. What do you think you said? What did you have to do? My tip off. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't let it dry. A little bit of extra. Um, yeah, so I think my glitter got dried a little bit because we poured it a little while ago mm -hmm. to get ready for this video. Right. But it's actually coming out really nice now that I've patted it down a little. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm trying so hard to resist not putting it on the entire thing. Because <laughs> I want it all to glitter this beautifully. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is stunning. All right, I'm going to clean my glitter actually in a different cup, so I'm just going to set it here for now. And then I think the last part is putting um, my center. Yeah. Ooh, that went fast. My center. I know, it was a lot faster than the video, I think, because we did the the back mm -hmm. in the um, at hand. the beginning. Yeah, Laura came over earlier, <laughs> and we were painting in silence. It was really nice to have the whole house to ourselves and <laughs> just sit here and paint. Mm -hmm. What color should we do? I think maybe the lightest pink would be a nice middle okay. middle there to all of that. Middle of our flower there. I think I'm liking the middle of all the flowers being the same hmm. but you don't have to do that you can change out all the colors okay and make them all different or take the same brush yeah, i use my middle flat brush here okay my small one to create the little nice circles that she showed us how to make swoosh my swoosh and then the other trick that I really loved on the video was when she used the back of the paintbrush, the bottom. Oh. Remember she made the dots? Mm -hmm. Right? I'm going to try that. So we take the bottom of the paintbrush. I'm going to dip it in. Let's try this dark pink here. Take the bottom of the entire thing. And then I'm going to make little dots. Two. There. And then I'm going to try with maybe this little lighter color to do little ones in here. <laughs> I like that sound. It's not quite the swoosh. swoosh. <laughs> there. Hmm. And then she also did the large one on the arrows. Remember, she was one... Oh, um, the green. Yes, on here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to see if I can get that duplicated also by taking the edge of my copper and seeing if I can get a little extra yeah, try that dots one. here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Boy, they came out like perfect little circles. Mm-hmm. And another one, and very nice. I'm gonna put five. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Rebel against the three! Beautiful! My goodness, look at our work! Yeah. This is gorgeous. I think mine is done. <laughs> I think. And. Yeah, a little on my hand because I just touched my paint, but um, I'm going to go around the edges and I'm actually going to go with um, this color here. Let's see if I get rid of some of this red here. But I wanted to show you how I was going to do that. I was just going to take the brown of the um, arrow 
because I really like how dark that looks. And I'm just going to go around my edges here. And it just gives it that nice finished look so you don't have that um, just kind of raw wood look to it. And I'm just going to do one side really quickly so I can show you what it looks like. But it doesn't take any time at all, you can see. And you just go on the edge here. Just kind of be careful when you get to the corner. See how long that took me? But you can see when I do the edge there, it just kind of gives it that nice finished look. So there's with the wood and there's with the brown there. So I'm going to go around my um, other three sides, but here's my finished piece. Isn't that lovely, Laura? Let's see yours. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> and it was so easy. And if we can do it, you can do it. You can go online, Plaid Crafts, on their Facebook page, and they'll have all of these um, materials ready for you so you can um, purchase them for the project. And they have them all listed on their website. Very easy to find. And thank you so much for joining Laura and I as we painted our little afternoon away. And please make sure that you visit other videos by A Crafty Arab. And ma salama. Goodbye.